So now let's see how we can work with blending modes inside of Adobe Fresco. So over here, I got a color selected. So I'm just going to go around, select this orange color, and I, I have this new layer right here. So I'm just going to draw around over here, just like that, as you can see. And then I have this color on this layer. So let me create another layer again. So I'm just going to go around here. I have another layer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and then uh, draw a bunch of colors. So I'm just going to go around. Let's say I'm going to uh, draw black on the side uh, to understand how this blending mode works like. And I'm going to draw white at the side. So just uh, around in the side, there's white color, even if you do not see it now. And then I'm going to have some other colors in between. So I'm just going to go around and then let's say, for example, select this color. And OK, I just have white selected. So I'm just going to select this color right here. OK, so just keep on uh, having these colors. And then I'm going to go around onto something like yellow and then have this around as well. You can see that white is there on the side, just like that. So now if I were to go over here onto the move tool and if I were to bring this onto the top, you can see that these colors are there, but they're not interacting with the layer beneath at all. So you can see that this layer is at the top and this layer is at the bottom. So that is simply how it works. So let's just uh, press done right here. I'm just going to go around over here. Maybe I'm going to have, an, have another color over here as well to show you exactly how this interacts when we use the blending modes. So if I were to go over here onto the top and if I were to go over here, let me just uh, drag this down a bit now, so drag this layer down a bit now and I'm going to press done. So if I were to go over here onto the layer properties, I'm going to select this layer and I'm going to go to layer properties. You can see that blending mode is set to normal. That is nothing happens. So whatever you see is whatever you get. But if I were to change this out, so there are different blending modes, as you can see right here, there's a lot of it over here. So if I were to go to darken, you can see that uh, this darkens out just like this. What happens is that uh, the blending mode actually darkens out and uh, the white color, as you can see, becomes transparent and the dark color remains as it is while we use this blending mode. Then we have multiply right here, which is another version of darken as well. And there's color burn as if the color is being burned out. So I can simply uh, take this out, move this around over here. And that is how it actually works like. You can see that it's, um, uh, it's as if the color is being burnt out right over here. So wh when it's white, it is not seen, but it, it only works on dark surfaces, as you can see right over here. So you can get these kind of um, options as well. Then there's other option like linear burn, which is simply like color burn, but it is shown on the white surface. There's darker color. So only the darker color is there. There's lighten, which actually makes the color look like light. So the bright color, as you can see, becomes opaque while the darker colors become more transparent in this case. Screen is similar to lighten as well. So as if the light is being signed on onto the object, there's color doors. So that's uh, negative colors right here. Linear doors, which is similar. Light, uh, lighter color, that means only the lighter color is seen. There's overlay, so uh, they are multiplying out there. And there's soft light, hard light, so different uh, blending modes, as you can see. Vivid light, so it's simply different ways that the colors interact with each other. Like there's linear light as well, there's spin light as well, there's hard mix, there's like difference right here, there's like exclusion, subtract, and so forth. All of these is here, divide which is like darker hue, which changes the hue, saturation, there's color, there's luminosity. So different sort of colors are here. The layer properties are there just like that. And that is how everything works like. So that is how op uh, opacity works like in Adobe Fresco. And you can use multiple layers of opacity as well. So you have uh, an opacity applied to this already. So what you can do is you can simply go over here and then choose another layer just like this and then choose another opacity right here and that blends in. So you can create different effects um, of colors just like this, just by using opacity to come up with creative results. So that's how you work with opacity inside of Adobe Fresco. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.